There were some comments under my recent Skyrim video complaining about the length of the dragon fight. Um, some people were um, not too happy with how much time it took. One person even described it as 45 minutes to kill a single dragon. Even though it was actually only 25 minutes, it probably felt that long. Mostly because of the way Leonard fights. Because Leonard does not fight. Leonard is not a warrior. He is not a fighter. And if he can't slip a poison into something and have it die pretty quickly, he's out of his depth. And let's face it, the last thing you can just slip a poison into and kill in one shot is a dragon. Leonard is probably the worst possible character to fight a dragon with and that is to a to a large degree by design i've been very open about the fact that i did not want leonard to be a warrior i did not want him to be a character that could kill in a face-to-face -face battle easily and as far as i'm concerned the toughest battle ever should be a battle with a dragon and of all of the creatures on Tamriel, the dragon is the one least likely for Leonard to be able to sneak up on and stab or slip a poison in its pockets. You know, Leonard actually would have an easier time against dragon priests and Dwemer robot type creatures than he would a dragon. The dragon is absolutely the worst thing for a character like Leonard to face. This is what I wanted. I know the dragons in Skyrim are wimpy, but the story, the lore, is that dragons can wipe out entire armies. And something that can wipe out an entire army should not be easily killable by someone like Leonard. I would argue it shouldn't be easily killable by someone like Richard. And Richard was actually very well set up and trained to fight dragons. He was a warrior. He was a bow specialist. He had innate magic resistance. He had lots of enchanted gear that made him resistant to magic. He was a very good killer of wizards and mages and dragons. He was really well set up for it. And even he had trouble, mostly because of the mods I used. But I, I, I think even, even a character like that, a, a character that was almost set up to become a dragon slayer, should have trouble fighting a dragon. A character like Leonard, who I have gone out of my way to make the opposite of that, should find dragons next to impossible to fight by himself, which is why whenever you've seen Leonard fight so far, he's pretty much dragged the dragon to, you know, or, or he's used an army, guards, Lydia and uh, Delphine and Inigo and, and just gone out of his way to have other people fight with him, to have an army. That is deliberate, it's by design. I do realise it's not the most exciting type of fighting to watch. I am aware of that. I do try to cut it down. But if I make those fights easier, I really cannot see the Leonard playthrough lasting much longer. And that is pretty unacceptable for me because I've got plans with Leonard. There's a lot of content I want to do. But unfortunately, most of the content I want to do would just feel silly if Leonard was capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a dragon. It would just feel sort of silly. To my mind, if Leonard was the sort of person who could fight a dragon and look heroic and take it down and maybe even take out Alduin... All of the other content would make no sense to him. At that point, I would be thinking Leonard would be looking around and thinking, all right, I'm the Dragonborn, I saved the world. Isn't it time for me to now be Emperor? The idea of him still caring about being a Thane would feel silly. It would feel out of place, and I'm not sure I could do it. And plus, he, he'd be able to kill a dragon. There'd be nothing else that he should be scared of, in my opinion. So this is why I've used the mods I've used. I've made him 
very, very hard to kill. I've got Deadly Dragon set on insane settings, and then I increased the dragon's health to about four or five times what it is on the insane setting, and I'm playing on master difficulty. And on top of that, I added a resist poison buff, my own little mod, to make them resist poison, because of course that's where a lot of Leonard's damage comes from. I did quite a bit of testing of that, just to make it so that the poisons did help, and did give him a way to fight, but made it really well, painful. Uh, the sort of fight that he would avoid, like the plague, if possible. Now, I don't want to give too many spoilers for this Let's Play, but obviously you, you can hear where I'm going with this anyway. So I will tell you that dragon fights will not be a major feature in this Let's Play in the near future. They will be the sort of thing that Leonard avoids where possible. In the case of the dragon that attacked the college, that was one of those things where he he was backed into a corner. The dragon attacked the, him and then the college. And if it had been somewhere like Whiterun, where he was backed into the Palace of Kings, he probably would have just stayed inside and let the guards take care of it. The problem with the college is it's essentially a castle perched on a small pillar of rock and Leonard was not totally convinced that the dragon wasn't going to destroy the entire place, you know, like knock it into the sea with him in it. So, you know, I mean, he could have run out and gone and hidden in one of the wooden, very flammable buildings. Now, you and I know the dragons won't destroy those little buildings. They'd be tiny little wooden huts and, you know, the dragon won't destroy it. But from a story perspective, that was a dragon that Leonard felt he had to, you know, well, if, if he could have had his way, everybody else would have killed it and he would have cheered them on and pretended he was, you know, giving instructions. But this is the sort of thing that when it happens is going to be something that Leonard feels forced into. This is not something Leonard is going to seek out. It shouldn't be much of a problem in the Let's Plays because I think it will be an infrequent event. I've got the, the settings in Deadly Dragons because Deadly Dragons will spawn dragons on you. I've got it set to zero, which I think is never spawn. I think you can set it for how many hours before it spawns one. I've got it set at zero, which I believe is never spawn. So hopefully the number of dragons engaged will be minimal at these stages of the Let's Play. Now you might be thinking, well, if you didn't really want to become the Dragon Slayer, why did you unlock the dragons in the first place? And basically there are two main reasons. And there's a third side reason as well. The, the, the first reason is there's an awful lot of content, unfortunately, locked behind you being acknowledged as the Dragonborn. Some of it's actual official DLC, some of it are quest mods. For example, Legacy of the Dragonborn Museum, I was told you're going to have to start the main quest if you want to complete everything in that mod. And there are several of the mods where I know you need to be the Dragonborn to start the quest, or the characters in the mod refer to you as the Dragonborn, so it would be inconsistent if I hadn't started it. So it's just getting to the point where a lot of the things I'm planning to do, and I'm planning quite a lot with Leonard, a lot of them require being the Dragonborn. The second reason is it was getting harder and harder to not go to Whiterun and become a Thane. <laughs> I'd sort of been finding good reasons why he was focusing on other areas, but it was getting a little tough. So I thought, you know what, it just, it's, it feels right now. It does, it feels right. And then the third reason is it's kind of interesting to have something so out of Leonard's ability to deal with that it reminds him that he is just a weak, puny mortal. It's it's kind of nice to have that little thing in the background just to remind Leonard that he still has a long, 
long way to go before he has control over everything. Having said all that, I'm not actually ruling out the possibility that Leonard will become a dragon slayer. Or perhaps, you know, one day he will kill Alduin. I'm just saying that day is far, far away. That is the pinnacle of status and achievement to someone like Leonard, at least of what is achievable in Skyrim. But it is also, to my mind, it will probably represent the pinnacle of power for him as well. He's already very good at stealth. He's, he, he can get more or less anywhere. He can kill more or less anyone. A normal human person, mage or warrior, not a problem for Leonard. He is, he is a consummate killer of man. Once he gets to the point of being a, a killer of dragons, I'm thinking at this point, he's just reached this. He is now the ultimate killer, the ultimate machine of death. There is no creature on the face of the planet that uh, Leonard could not seek out and kill. And to me, that will be a sort of a natural ending point, if it is ever achieved. It will be slow going. In the meantime, when he faces opponents of that caliber, those fights will probably be long and they will probably be done the way Leonard would do them, which is to take it slowly, sensibly, and the least heroic and entertaining way possible. I appreciate for the viewer that's a problem. I will try to narrow them down. I will try to keep I mean, I can cut more of it out. I can cut more of it out so that you you get a more abridged fight and yet still somehow feel the length, the time that was put into it and the pain that Leonard went through so that you don't necessarily have to suffer the pain, but you know the pain he went through. I will, I will consider that when doing future fights and try to shrink it a little so um, you spend less time looking at him hiding behind an object avoiding fire so i will bear that in mind but i'm sort of rambling on now anyway i i do apologize if that fight was a little boring i just i really am trying to get across the idea that leonard is just totally and utterly not a hero he is he is the opposite of a hero He's a killer. He's patient. He can be methodical. He can be efficient. But when it comes to a dragon, the last thing he can be is quick. Unless, of course, he can run away. And if he has that option, he almost certainly will take it. 